Hi everyone, um, I've come on here to tell you a story, but I've discovered that um, I've been a little bit arrogant in thinking that I can just tell this story off the top of my head. I can't. Um, so I need to go in the boiler room and sort out some paperwork and come back, get it into some sort of semblance and come back. Um, it's a story of a family, um, an eclectic mix of people really, um, fighters and poets, um, writers and farmers, lovers and haters, and set in the breathtaking landscape landscapes of um, Tipperary, Belfast, Birmingham, Stratford upon Avon. Um, that's where Shakespeare was born, for those who don't know, and uh, the Bard. But this story I'm telling you, want to tell you, is about a real family and it will both, I think, it will make you both love and hate the characters in this story. It will make you cheer them on. It will make you fear for them. And you will be itching to find out what happens at the end. But there is no end because the story continues. And so... I'm talking from, say, when the coffin ships, the ships that were sent out from Ireland to America, the British stole the land from the people of Ireland, um, deported people on ships that weren't seaworthy. So many people died. Um, members of my extended family amongst them. So there's some complex relationships which intensely enters your heart and it isn't a story uh, just about my family although parts of it are um, because my cousin in Tipperary um, once she retired as a headmistress, she decided, well, she decided before she retired, and she researched our family tree, going right the way back, and discovered that um, our family on my mother's side were related to the last kings of Leinster. So, does that make me a princess? I don't know. Um, I've got my little crown on. Anyway, it's an interesting story. I'm not going to um, deface it all. Um, you know, I want to do the characters in this story justice. So I need to sort out this paperwork and come back to you with it. So take this video just as a preface to say that um, Anne's going to do this work over the next few days. And I'll come back with this story about some God-fearing people, some not-so-God-fearing people, some religious women, women of virtue, some not-so-virtuous virtuous women, <laughs> um, some poets, and I have an uncle who was a grand poet, some fighters. I have a great uncle uh, who was shot by the British in Ireland, in Dublin, in 1920, when they were fighting for Irish freedom. So it's a lengthy saga. It isn't just about my family. There's a lot of information in the um, paperwork that I have. And to think I could just come on here and in 15 minutes 
start, even start the ball rolling properly was a little bit silly and arrogant of me but um, well at least I've told you what to expect and what I'm going to do and I hope you enjoy it um, it won't all be done in one video obviously because it's a lengthy thing to do and it's um, it's going to be pretty complex for me to do I don't want to um, what's the word I don't want to underestimate any characters and not give them their full worth in what I say about them so in that way it's going to be complex for me to do but I am going to do it and I won't start tonight I'll probably start the weekend getting this paperwork together although I'll come on here before then obviously and um, do it like that anyway today has been a brilliant day it's been sunny here uh, crisp very cold um, very sunny and I've been to the hospital, so sick of these hospital appointments. And, um, you know, to you prats who say I've got one foot in the grave, you may well be right. Who knows? But I've had a hospital appointment today, which went well. Got another one on Friday. Um, and then I get a break till April. <laughs> what I have decided to do also is just as a by the way before I finish, I've decided to have some helping with the house just um once a week for about three hours a week because uh, it's it's too big for me to manage on my own um as i said before it's four beds three baths three and a half rooms and um it's a lot it's four flights of stairs so i think three hours either weekly or fortnightly i've got to work that out it doesn't get that dirty. I have people staying every weekend, but uh, you know we clean up after ourselves, and we're not um, we're not um, pigs. Anyway, I will get back on here when I can. Uh, six o'clock, and my baked potato should be about done. I'm having those with salad tonight for my dinner, and an early night with my meditation tapes before going to see. A, I'll be again in the morning. So pretty predictable my days, really. But uh, good days. And I'll be back later um, in the week. Have a good evening, everybody. Bless you. Bye-bye.